All right, everybody. It is that time again. Here is your 15-minute mission done podcast style. So there is no video. Well, there's a video. Obviously, there's no picture to go along with it to help you clean. We are in the kitchen or you are just decluttering or you're decluttering in your kitchen um, today to do the mission. And our mission today is to attack the dusties and the cobwebs on the ceiling and the walls and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's start. Okay, so 15 minutes. The kitchen ceiling gets neglected, as do the walls, the backsplashes, stuff like that, if we don't see the spots. Sometimes the grease can hide. So I have a wonderful degreaser recipe. Let's see if I can find it without canceling this. Okay. So here we go. Let's look for the, my degreaser recipe. I do not like doing the ceiling and the walls in the kitchen with just a dry rag. I mean, I don't mind doing it with a dry rag to start it, but you know, to get the main stuff off, but not to do it to where, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually get the cleaning done because since it is a greasy room. I mean, let's face it. It is a greasy, greasy room. Then, you know, you're dealing with things that are not necessarily going to come off with just a dry rag. So my degreaser recipe is coming up right here. It does take a couple weeks to make, but it is definitely worth it. And it gives you a wonderful excuse to eat oranges. Um, and here we go. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get some orange peels. And you're going to fill them in a quart-sized mason jar. As many orange peels as you can stick in there. Yeah. Okay, then you're going to cover them with a good amount of salt. Okay? You're going to let that sit for one hour so you can draw the oils out. Then you're going to fill the jar with half water and half vinegar. You're going to seal. You're then going to let it sit for a week, letting it, you know, and you're going to shake it daily. After you get done shaking it daily and letting it sit for a week, you're going to strain it and put it in a spray bottle. This will cut grease like nobody's business. Or you can go the immediate way for right now and save this for in a week so that way you have it. And use a sink full of hot soapy water. I prefer Dawn because Dawn takes grease out of your way. So. That is what I use on my ceiling. That is what I use on my walls in the kitchen. That is what I use on my windowsills in the kitchen. And that is what I use on top of my refrigerator because it works. Now, it takes a little more scrubbing and please be careful if you're climbing on chairs, tables, walls, whatever, you know, cause you're Spider-Man to clean these like this, but it is definitely worth it. And if you, if your kitchen is huge, my kitchen is not huge, but if your kitchen is huge, you definitely want to do this in stages. Maybe do one wall one day, one wall the next day, another wall the next day, another wall the next day, and then the ceiling the next day. Or start with the ceiling because water drips. Um, that can do it. Also, when you're going through and dusting, don't forget the tops of shelves, the tops of cabinets, if they don't go all the way up to your ceiling because dusties love that stuff. So that is some good things with the dusties. As we all know, I love doing these kitchen missions and stuff like that. So 
go through. Don't forget to wipe down your light fixtures as you're doing this. Um, you know, there's a lot of places that cobwebs and dusties can hide in your kitchen. Now, if you notice there's an appliance on your counter, and we will get to counters later on in the week, but if there's an appliance on your counter and that's got cobwebs on it, honey, you don't use that more than every three days, which means you need to find a place to put it. So that is where, especially with this mission, depending upon how you're doing it, you can get done quicker and go through declutter a cabinet. Add an extra 15 minute mission to your day if you can and spend 15 minutes on cabinets, decluttering, organizing, making sure that you've got the stuff out of there. I just got done talking with a client of mine talking about the one trick ponies in our kitchen. I, while the things are absolutely wonderful and they work great, there is usually another tool in your kitchen that you can use to do the same thing. Or you can upgrade a tool to where it will do more than one thing. So, like your vacuum, which can also be a leaf blower, which can also get cobwebs, which can also dust and stuff like that. Um, you know, I just, I, my kitchen is not big enough. Granted, this is the biggest kitchen I've ever had with the most storage space I've ever had. Um, but it's got no pantry. So I lose some storage space that way. But I still don't like having any one trick ponies because it takes up room. And if I don't love it, if I don't use it enough, it's just taking up space that something more valuable could be taking up. So I just, I don't like having those things that are only one purpose items. You know, um, we were talking about my pasta maker, which I loved my pasta maker. Um, but I just, all it did was pasta. So I just couldn't do it anymore. Uh, I got to respond to Juan. Here, one second. No more. Sorry. Okay. No, he didn't say that. He said he's doing so far so good without the boot. I don't even see the boot. Where did he put the boot? Maybe he's got the boot at work and he just didn't tell me. Let's go find out. Okay. So, um, I do have cereal dispensers, which are, yes, one trick ponies. However... I can put whatever I want in them. So maybe I don't see the boot. Where did his boot go? Is his boot in the car or the truck or did he leave it at work? Huh. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Um, I can put chips in them. I can do whatever I want. I can put um, Chex Mix in them. Um, you know, so yeah, those are one trick ponies, but whatever. Uh, back to my pasta maker. Loved that thing, but guess what? Parchment paper and a knife does the same thing in a rolling pin. So while it's easier with the pasta maker, it's not necessary. Um, you know, I just, I don't like having those because they take up valuable space. Um, also, when it comes to your kitchen, you're going to want to put things where you go for them the most. So, like me, I usually assemble dinners by my island. 
That is why I have all my spices by my island. Now, onion powder, garlic, pepper, salt, paprika, um, all get used an awful lot. They are in their own row. I have them all in half pint uh, mason jars. So they stack real nice and they stay sealed and they're wonderful. Um, no, they're pint mason jars. Two cups equal a pint. That is one cup, so that is a half pint mason jar. Okay. Um, but that's how I deal that. My knives are by the stove because if I'm cutting stuff up to throw it into the pan, that's where I'm going to use them. My serving dishes are by the stove and oven because obviously when stuff comes out, that's where I'm going to serve. I have my dirty dishes on the side by my spices because when stuff is coming up off the stove, out of the oven, I want it all right there for serving. So going through and organizing your kitchen to make it the most functional, especially, and this is going to sound weird, especially if you have a large kitchen is necessary because you don't want to have to be walking from one side to the other and one side to the other. You want to make it work for you. So use these items to help. And just because I have my kitchen set up this way, you don't have to have yours set up this way. It is all personal preference. Um, I just do, like I said, what works for me. I have my Tupperware and my spice, extra spices all down below underneath my dishes because I don't use the Tupperware an awful lot. I try to cook to where we're not going to have leftovers the next day because I like to cook a new meal now that I found emails every single night. So I try not to have leftovers. Um, but... Yeah, sometimes things happen and there we have it. You know, when I'm making just sex, no cream ice cream, I need to have a container. If we're making ice cream in emails, I need to have a container. So I have them, but they're not in the main part of the kitchen because I don't use them as much. And the extra spices, I definitely don't use. The couple cookbooks that I have, no, I don't use them as much anymore, but they're a collection of family recipes. They're a collection of ethnic recipes. They're a collection of recipes that I've gotten over the years. And I believe there's three cookbooks that I absolutely love. So, but the other ones are my creation cookbooks. Um, the kitchen drawer, I told you guys a while ago how I reorganized that. And I'm absolutely loving it. It is working so well. If you haven't heard that one, it is um, the 15-minute mission post for cleaning out the silverware drawer and container. That is where that one is. Um, so walls are getting wiped down. Ceiling is getting wiped down. When I wiped my ceiling down, it was hilarious how you could see where I had wiped down and where I had it. Where had been, you know, where is extremely dirty and where it isn't. It was just, it was absolutely hilarious. It was like, well, I know where I'm going to start. Um, <clears throat> and I honestly, it's because I had totally forgotten about doing the kitchen ceiling. I wiped down the walls, but I had totally forgotten about doing the kitchen ceiling. When Jacek and I finally pulled out the refrigerator and the oven, oh my goodness, that's why we've kept up with that. Because now it's 15 minutes done, if it even takes 15 minutes. Um, otherwise, that day, we did a crisis clean in the kitchen. And that was not cool. But we did have fun together. So, And we made a huge mess with water. We had a lot of fun that day. Um, let's see. Oh, even my bread maker is not a one-trick pony. Because... I can cook, number one, all different types of bread in it, sweet breads. I can cook cake in it. Um, I can make jam in it. I can make meatloaf in it. So that 
to me is a definite. Plus, I like to make bread as opposed to buy bread. No, it doesn't last as long, but guess what? I know what's in that sucker. Um, and it's got a timer. I even got rid of my toaster. I've got a toaster oven. I can make toast and it can make pizza and it can cook when it's 80 degrees outside and I don't feel like turning on my oven. I go to my toaster oven. So nothing that I really have is a one trick pony. I really, really, really wanted a coffee pot to make my tea, but that is a one trick pony. Hence, I don't have it. All right. 15 minutes. Walls and everything are taken care of, and I will talk to you tomorrow when we take on the cabinet fronts. I'll share with you another cleaner then, too. Bye.